कैच यू एस ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव रिलीज इज हियर हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल इफ यू आर इन टू लिनिक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट प्रोराइटाइज परफॉर्मेंस इज ऑफ यूज एंड कटिंग एज फीचर्स देन यू प्रोबेबली फेमिलियर विथ कैच यू एस इट्स एन आर्ट्स लिनिक्स बेस्ड डिस्ट्रो दैट्स बीन गेनिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैक्शन फॉर इट्स ऑप्टिमाइजेशन मेकिंग इट ए ग्रेट चॉइस फॉर बोथ एवरी डे यूजर्स एंड इंथ्यूसियस्ट हु वॉन्ट अ स्पीडी secure setup without the usual arch hassle today i am excited to break down the august 2025 release of catch us this is their sixth update this year and it packs in some really thoughtful improvements focused on stability transparency and user convenience i'll walk you through the key highlights from the brand new package dashboard to kernel tweaks and app enhancements so Let's jump right in. First off, one of the standout additions is the web-based package dashboard. You can access it at packages.catchus.org, and it's designed to give users a clear, easy way to explore packages across all Catchus repositories. Whether you're checking for the latest version or digging into details, you can filter by architectures like x86-64 repository. package name or even update time it supports light and dark theme for that personalized touch and for each package you'll see essential info like the version last update and where it comes from transparency is a big deal here it shows the package build source code so you can know if it's straight from the arch linux modified by catchus team or source from the aur if no direct link is listed plus there is a handy binary download link if you want to grab and inspect a package manually this tool is perfect for anyone who wants more insight into what they are installing and it even has an option to hide catchy os specific packages if you are comparing to vanilla arch moving on to stability The developers have made some smart changes to the kernel setup. CatchUS has always shipped with the optimized kernels, but they have heard feedback about hardware compatibility issues with the bleeding edge versions. In this release, the live ISO now defaults to the long-term support Linux 6.12 LTS kernel for better out-of-the-box reliability. Think fewer boot problems. especially with graphics that said the latest linux 6.16 kernel is still available as an option and post install the lts version gets added as a feedback kernel automatically this way if you run into trouble with newer hardware like upcoming amd or intel gpus you have a safety net the team mentioned they might bundle an extra kernel in future isos if compatibility gaps become a bigger issue which shows they are really thinking ahead there are also some cool new supports and features for specific setups for window manager fans you can now install nary window manager right through the online installer complete with pre configured dot files for a smooth start if you are going with the btrfs file system and group bootloader Bootable snapshots are now enabled by default, making system recovery easier and more robust. Similar to what Lemine already offers, Nvidia users get a nice boost too. With Soix Sleep Mode enabled on compatible hardware, this modern low-power state lets your system sip energy while still handling notifications and background tasks. which is great for laptops or energy conscious builds on the app side a few in-house tools have gotten solid updates catchy update they take on an arch update notifier now includes a system pre icon that alerts you to available updates from official repos and the aur you can tweak it via the catchy us hello app under tweaks and the team is considering longer check intervals 
like every few days based on user input then there is a proton catchOS which is tailored for gaming it adds a dlss version updater for better upscaling in supported titles an option to force the latest presets and even upgrades for xcss and fsr technologies on compatible gpus they have improved physics support with bundled nvidia libraries added per game shader catching to speed up load times and included an optional dxv key variant for older hardware though they won against using it in multiplayer games with anti cheat beyond that there are fixes and polishes everywhere the lemain bootloader has been refined to handle mbr or bias installs more reliably and the launch installer button works smoother now overall this release feels like a refinement of what makes catchOS special bleeding arts ruling updates with user friendly tweaks and performance boosts if you are ready to give it a spin head over to the official catchOS website to download the latest iso it's available in desktop and handheld flavors so whether you are on a pc or a portable device you are covered as always check the full release notes on their blog for the nitty gritty details i recommend backing up before any major update what do you think of these changes are you planning to try the new dashboard or switch to the lts kernel drop your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed this breakdown hit the like button subscribe for more linux news and turn on notifications thanks for watching see you in the next one peace out